Ishmaq are you tired because <laughs> you're talking about being exciting and you're so like aaram se baat kar rahe ho No that's how he is I mean he 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 was a brilliant brilliant guy honestly he, the more i find out about him and the, the the more stories i learn about him and the more i tried to play him it's like what an indomitable spirit they both had so hmm. it's it's a very organic journey and uh, you set out start by doing things start by reading talking to people going over the script again and again and then somewhere along the way you know you find your way find your method find the person within you हेलो आई एम जिम साहब मेरा नाम इशवाक सिंह है और आप देख रहे हैं और बताओ और बताओ विद स्तुति हाय गाइस आई एम स्तुति और बताओ का एक और एपिसोड थैंक्स टू टेक्नोलॉजी जूम के इस तरफ मैं और जूम के उस तरफ जो दो चेहरे आपको नजर आ रहे हैं जिम साहब एंड इशवाक सिंह जॉइनिंग मी टुडे हाय गाइस और बताओ hey. आप बताइए स्तुति जी बहुत बहुत ही एम्बिशियस प्रोजेक्ट रॉकेट बॉयज एंड आई वांट टू नो वाज इट रॉकेट साइंस टू गेट इनटू द स्किन ऑफ द कैरेक्टर कितना एम्बिशियस प्रोजेक्ट एंड व्हाट कूल रोल्स डॉक्टर होमी बाबा एंड डॉक्टर विक्रम सारा भाई सच एक्स्ट्रॉर्डिनरी मेन डिड यू फील द प्रेशर अह इट्स ऑलवेज एक्साइटिंग एवरी टाइम यू गेट अ न्यू पार्ट एंड अह इट्स अह यू नो यू काइंड ऑफ see that whether it's a fictional character or a, or a non uh, fiction a great iconic figure like this a great story like this an actor has i think several motivations to uh, do this and a whole lot of things excite you about a project um but at the same time when it's when it's uh, something of this magnitude and scale you can't deny the fact that it is kind of you know makes overwhelming and uh, it does make you a little nervous but then as we went long you know started going about doing things prepping for it it just became a part of our lives i guess you know mm-hmm. talking about it living it thinking about it seeing things from uh, a certain perspective it just became very oh bahut hi said when get became a part of our, us i guess so it was fun it was fun i didn't uh, i mean on set once we were there we did just really you know like doing our thing i guess and uh, it didn't seem that uh, unnerving isma are you tired because <laughs> you're talking about being exciting and you're so like aaram se baat kar rahe ho no that's how he is <laughs> that is how you are okay Jim, what about you? Your character. Um, um, you know, I'm really excited um, to play Doctor Homi Baba. Um, uh, no, I'm joking. <laughs> uh, I, I, I really was very, very, very excited to play Doctor Homi Baba for 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 many reasons, of course, because the the fact that when I heard about their friendship, I really didn't know that they were so closely connected their entire lives. Uh, I had heard about Homi Baba. I knew he was the father of the uh, uh, nuclear program for India. I just didn't know what a Renaissance man he was. That he was just so his breadth of interest spanned uh, multitudes. You know, honestly, multitudes. Like in politics, in art. Uh, Nikhil Advani just told a story about how one percent of TIFR's budget was always kept aside for. uh modern indian art and so some of the best collections of hussein and gaitonde and raza and akbar padamsi etc all you, you know all belong to them and are, are in their legacy legacy in addition to that earlier in my life my uncle runs an auction house called uh, pandols and uh, he was auctioning off the jamshed baba estate who had left everything that they had to the ncpa so even in his final move the family was doing an act of philanthropy you know uh, and specific, specifically towards the cultural fabric of the city and of the country so interesting and this is just the rest of him forget about his scientific contributions that by themselves are worthy of a biopic you know hmm, hmm, this hmm. is like everything else that surrounded him the fact that he was a funny charming sophisticated mercurial 
proud, confident man. It's just what a dream to play the character. What a pleasure Should to I listen start? to you speaking about Should, this. I mean, he 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 was a brilliant brilliant guy honestly he, the more i find out about him and the, the the more stories i learn about him and the more i tried to play him it's like what an indomitable spirit they both had they both had and what a what a, what intelligent intelligent men they were i mean truly astounding i would be lucky to have a quarter of their uh, intelligence honestly <clears throat> again he has a character like uh, jin so beautifully explained of extraordinary men i mean you know the more you know about them the more you read about them or is other inspiring hote hain but when you have to play one of them on screen what's the kind of preparation that you do and how do you do, do that what is your reference uh, how you know how long did it take for you guys to actually um, understand how you're going to play it to catch the rhythm as they say uh i don't know i guess it's it's uh it's not something that you can define or quantify in that sense that you know there's a rhythm that you're achieving it's more like uh you know you're walking finding a trail rather than building a pathway so hmm. it's it's a very organic journey and uh, you set out start by doing things start by reading talking to people going over the script again and again and then somewhere along the way you know you find your way find your method find the person within you uh and as you go along doing things that's when the real revelation another kind of revelation happens when you sort of put the puzzle together so it's been like that it's been an organic journey jim what is your process uh, you try to get the accent <clears throat> you try to get the body language How, what is your first entry into into a character i, I mean if if we're looking at homi baba's actual voice he sounded a bit more like a bit more like how Uh, Pandit Ji Nehru sounded at the time. He had a very mm-hmm. he Cambridge educated, and they had this kind of slightly f- froggish voice, for lack of yeah. a better uh, term. And I think they spoke more like this. You know, this sort of uh, 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 what was considered gentlemanly at the you know. How but we yeah. uh, we've made a we've no, but we made a conscious choice not to go with with, with those voices for everyone because um. You know, firstly, it's difficult to maintain. Everyone would have to do it oh, with the same yeah. level of authentic authenticity, and I think also just that particular Cambridge returned, uh, uh, perhaps Parsi kind of way of, way of speaking. We 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 wanted to try to not. get bogged down by the legacy of these men and of mm. their greatness because in the moment you don't know that for future generations are going to be talking about this particular moment you just are trying to solve a problem within that day and of course we read about uh we read about our characters and we did research and we listened to the, the way they spoke and all of that stuff but then we also kind of try to focus less on mimicking them and yeah, more yeah. on embodying their approach to life and homi baba's approach to life was of deep interest in everything in all the things that came into his life he was truly interested in them he truly wanted to find out about them be it politics or human relations or science or culture or art or any of the, any of those things and we tried to think okay this person is what we would consider a genius hmm. what does that mean what does that actually mean it means that their brain is making connections faster than the average person if their brain is making connections faster than the average person in addition to the fact that they are absolutely unafraid to do the hard work required to feed that incredible brain hmm. which hmm. they were he i mean just the fact that he was so good at playing the violin well into his later years you have to practice a lot to get that good uh, i tried well i did about 3 4 months of violin lessons just to make wow. sure i could hold it right and try to do yeah. it it is extremely hard and requires true dedication and so this is just one of the many things that he could do very very well i mean he could paint very very well he could you know write a, a novel on what he thought about uh, culture in the modern world i mean he was a brilliant guy so so we didn't but again 
we didn't get try to get bogged down by it. So what does it mean? It means that he thinks a little bit faster than everybody else in the room, perhaps, which means he can come up with a joke faster, he can come up with a retort faster, and he can mm-hmm. come up with convincing people of how he needs what he needs to get done also faster than most people. When he says a sentence, it moves the conversation two or three steps forward, not just one. And so we try to shrug off the weight of his greatness and instead approach the scene with that philosophy approach the scene mm-hmm. that he is just a couple steps ahead he kind of figures when the person is lying or he figures that this might be a retort or he just has a wealth of information at his fingertips that he can respond with you know and it doesn't necessarily need to be a direct response it can be a tangential response that actually has a deeper answer and a deeper mm-hmm. meaning than than the question that was asked and so me and abe i mean i drove him crazy workshopping 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 and trying to trying to make sure this approach came out in the way that he spoke and the things that he did and the timing with which he delivered his um uh, the timing with which he delivered both lines and information hmm you know i i am having such a great time listening to you speak about this character and how you prepared it uh jim generally with actors they say they spend so much time with a certain character uh that w- when it's when it's uh time to leave when you know the shooting is done the project is over you carry a bit of that character with you what is the one trait that that you'd say uh will stay with you i would like to imbibe uh his quality of interest yeah um so many things about uh, vikram sarabhai it's uh, it's also the way i was i went to sort of went about finding him was uh, once i knew what you know his interests and what his ideology was in terms of he was a gandhian and what were the great minds that influenced him uh, the the interesting thing was and i guess that's what was uh, the prep work an integral part of the prep work was that as through the medium of the story and as i sort of got to know him through his biography anecdotes uh, narrated by the biographer or the family um i had a very human level certain obvious choices uh understanding what this man is like with those ideologies you know you kind of the lot of things that stayed with me uh, the fact that he was a people's person very unassuming very uh, connected to his roots culture yet he wanted to do great things he wanted to start at home first fulfill his responsibility of uh, making sure that you know there's a family there's a responsibility he owed to his family as it seems and he was expected to sort of take the mantle forward even in terms of uh, managing the businesses which he did very well for a very long time until he took over back and uh, and all along this he was setting up institutes like iim nid uh, he uh, founded isro or he became an educator uh, just imagine i mean if you've kind of lived with a person like this and all these information anecdotes uh, performed so many things you take back whether it's uh, the idea of and what i actually ended up using was something i learned about uh from him being a a gandhian uh, it meant that he believed in something like and as the story sort of he revealed himself to me through the story was that he definitely believed had a lot of restraint he believed in something called truth force hmm. you know something that gandhi gandhi ji speaks about in uh, hind swaraj or is tarah ke bade sare choti choti cheeze thi you know hmm. that stayed uh, the fact that uh, how he mentored uh, young APJ Abdul Kalam yeah and yeah. believed in sort of mm-hmm. passing on legacy interdependence the concept of interdependence which science which is probably the most one of the most basic and it's of mm. science and scientists uh, subscribe to that he believed in that what a pleasure this has been to hear you guys speak so passionately about the process of acting and your characters can't wait to watch uh, the show all the best for that thanks duti thank you thank you, thank you.